Hi, it's Drew from Alza Video. We're on location today at Red Shoe Film. We're going to assist uh, with a commercial. Actually, it's a micro budget commercial. I uh, just wanted to show you what we brought today. So, what we've got in here is uh, actually it's a pretty small set of stuff, but we've got a four light Alzo panel light kit with two quads and two twins. This is our grip bag full of goodies. This is our light stand kit, also has a boom in it. And this is our uh, low ceiling drum light. And this should be enough to, to light this whole, this whole set. Yeah, that wasn't so hard. Hey, Brian. Hey, Drew. How you doing? Good, man. Good to see you. Good to see you. So this is all we're gonna, all we really need. Um, so let's move it in. All right. Look forward to that. While Brian finishes setting up the studio, let's talk about micro-budget commercials like this one. A micro-budget project is usually between $10,000 to $50,000, and this means keep it real simple. This production is a 30-second spot for Muzzy language learning DVDs for children. So let's take a look at some characteristics of a micro-budget production. Location. Typical indoor locations range from home studios in living rooms, basements, and garages. Outdoor locations work well for micro-budgets, assuming these are unpermitted locations. Keep in mind that most town, cities, and states require film permits and the prices vary widely. Famous places may be very restricted or very expensive. And remember, outdoor locations are weather dependent, so assure that your entire crew and talent are flexible. Crew. A good example of a micro-budget crew is this commercial production for Muzzy. This crew consists of a DP or director producer, Bob Altman. The cameraman was Brian Russell of Red Shoe Film. Lighting was provided by Alzo Video. Sound was handled by Brian. Writers included the DP, Brian, and the client Muzzy. The talent were several children culled from friends and extended family. The equipment. DSLRs have become very popular micro-budget cameras and a wide range of camcorders are used as well. Renting a camera is popular, particularly when you want to use an awesome lens. Camera ownership can be very expensive and bust your budget. Should you rent or buy lighting? Almost everyone in this business owns some basic lights, and then rental lights are brought on the set as needed. In some cases, economical Alzo lights can be purchased for almost the same cost of renting lights. Post-production. In many cases, post-production editing is provided by the DP or an associate. Green screen is a popular low budget method to add an interesting dynamic to the production. And remember the mantra of micro budget post is keep it simple and always consider the editing complexity in the planning stages. It's easy to say, oh, we can fix it in post, but that can be a very expensive assumption. So with a minimalist structure of a micro budget project, the most important aspects of the production is the concept, the script, and the execution by the talent. It's going to be the story and performance that makes or breaks the project. And to assure the success of the production, you should do a lot of test screenings with friends and strangers and get their feedback. You may want to ask them to complete a short survey so that you have stats on the viewer's reactions. Brian should be finished setting up now, so let's go back in the studio and see what's cooking. So uh, we're set up now at uh, Red Shoe Film, and this is the uh, kind of home studio arrangement. But we've got a great big uh, white background, and the, um, the project is going to be uh, kind of like an interview situation with some children. They're going to be sitting on this bench, and uh, we, what we wanted to do was to have the background completely whited out. So in order to do that, we had to put some heavy illumination on it. We put two panel -like quads 
on the background, left and right. And in addition, we also put an Alto drum light overhead for a nice, soft, even illumination, shadowless illumination. And uh, on the talent, we're just going to have a couple twin lights and we'll you know, vary the intensity to get the proper uh, balance of facial lighting to the background. And uh, that's about it. We're gonna start shooting in a little while. We're gonna have the talent come in and we'll, uh, we'll do a little demonstration footage at that time. The camera gear used for this Muzzy commercial is a Canon 5D Mark II mounted on an Alzo transformer rig with a Marshall 7-inch LCD monitor on top. Also, a 42-inch HD LCD TV was positioned on the side of the set for the DP and Muzzy staff to monitor the camera output. To drive two monitors, an HDMI splitter was connected to the HDMI output from the camera and one HDMI output drove the camera Marshall monitor and the second output fed the HDTV. A single boom mounted microphone was the sole audio source. A juice link mixer connected to the camera audio was used to provide a balanced microphone input for the overhead mic and to provide for headphone monitoring of the audio. When the Apple iPad was employed to demonstrate a product application, I provided an overhead flag with a large black foam core to block reflections and improve the contrast of the iPad LCD image. In conclusion, Alzo Video Lights are a low-cost solution that work well within many micro-budget production constraints.